Welcome back to Learning Knockout JS. In the last section, we learned about computed observables and subscribing to observables. In this section, we're going to look at ways to extend Knockout's capabilities with custom functions, extenders, and bindings. Knockout provides a way to create functions that extend the core data types, namely subscribable, observable, observable array, and computed. Each of these data types has an object named fn to which you can attach your custom functions. Let's say, for example, that you wanted the ability to filter any observable array by one of its properties values. You could do it with a computed, or preferably a pure computed, but if it's something that you want to do repeatedly, that would mean a lot of code to write and maintain. Custom functions allow you to centralize that code and associate it specifically to a data type. In this video, we're going to look at how to add functions to the fn object by constructing a custom function that filters an observable array based on a property value. Then we'll use this custom function to display our media catalog filtered by media type. The example we're going to implement is actually covered on Knockout's website. It's an extremely useful extension, however, and one that I use quite often. To be honest, I haven't found many circumstances where I've needed to create custom functions, but that doesn't mean that you won't. I would like to point out, though, that it will benefit you greatly to treat custom functions in a very generic manner. If the functionality you're needing is very specific to a problem, it might be best to create a one-off computed as opposed to a custom function that will be available to all instances of that type. To start, add a new JavaScript file named customfunctionviewmodel.js to the viewmodels folder in our project and insert our boilerplate code for the revealing module pattern. Then add a new HTML page named customfunction.html and add all of the script references, style sheet, and code to satisfy the MVVM pattern as in previous examples. Now add a new JavaScript file to the scripts folder named knockoutextensions.js. We'll use this file to add all of our custom functions, extenders, and bindings throughout this section. We want to use this function with all of our observable arrays, so we'll add it to the fn object. When we use this function, we'll pass the name of the property and the value by which we're filtering, so that will be our argument list for this function. Our custom function will return a filtered array, but we want that array to automatically update whenever the source array changes. To accomplish this, we'll return a pure computed so that we get any updates of the source array. We'll also pass in the this object as our context because this refers to our observable array. Within the pure computed, we'll iterate through our source array and return a local array of items that have a property and value that match our criteria. To implement this function, switch to our custom function view model and add a public property for our catalog. Then create an init function that gets our catalog from our data context. Next, add public properties for each of our media types. We'll define them as undefined and then make our assignments in the init function. In the init function, assign to each of our media type properties a call to our custom function, which is now available from our catalog property. We'll pass media type as our first parameter, which is for our property name on which we're filtering. Then we'll pass the value on which we're filtering as the second parameter. In our view, we'll display the same table for each of our arrays, so this is a perfect scenario to use a template. Insert virtual elements for each of our media type arrays and a template to render the output. The result is each media type array filtered by property and value and rendered in their own separate tables. Custom functions are pretty simple to create and use. As I mentioned, I haven't found many circumstances where I've needed to create custom functions, but it's definitely an option to keep filed away in the back of your mind. In the next video, we'll learn how to create custom extenders.